Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for joining me for this week's yoga class, which is a sunset vinyasa flow. I really wish I was doing it somewhere beautiful with a sunset backdrop for you guys, but no, we are here in my yoga room and it's the middle of the day, but I've designed this class to be done on an evening. So it's gonna be really nice, really flowy. It's gonna to help to just balance out the energy in the body if you've had a long day and just allow you to wind down and reconnect. So, and all you need is your mat and yourself. So grab your mat and we'll go and get started. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoy it and please subscribe to stay updated. I post out one new class every week, but if that's not enough, as always, I always say this, but follow the link in my description box, which will take you to the sacred space, which is my online little subscription page. There's over a hundred videos on there, which are not on here. And you can subscribe to that and enjoy multiple videos every week for $4.99, or you can subscribe for the whole year. Um, and it obviously works out less. So go and check that out and we will get started. Okay, my lovelies, we are gonna begin our practice in our Thunderbolt pose at the top of the mat. Just take a moment to just let your hands rest onto the tops of the thighs. Drawing in a nice deep inhale, allowing this inhale to lengthen all the way up through the spine. And just allowing that exhale out. I'm gonna do three deep rounds of the breath here. I encourage you to take a big sigh out through the mouth as you let go of the day through your breath. It's a big inhale, lengthen up through the spine. Big exhale, sigh out through the mouth. Inhale, filling up fully. Big exhale, sighing out, letting go of the day. And one more, inhale, bringing your mind into the present moment. Big exhale, let go of anything that isn't serving you. Set your intention to stay with the breath, to keep your mind present, to keep letting go both physically and mentally with every breath out. And slowly from here, bring the hands down, tuck the toes underneath, and just roll into your rag doll at the end of the mat. Really allow the upper body to be heavy with the support of the hands or find the elbows. Maybe you want to start to bring some gentle movement in. Big deep breaths here, still letting go of the day. Feeling any stress, any tension that you're holding just melting out of your body. Bring the hands to the shins or fingertips to the mat. Inhale halfway. Exhale forward fold. Inhale standing palms together. Gazing up towards the thumbs, opening up the chest. And exhale forward fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Bending into the knees, stepping back to plank. Exhale, down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Just pausing in your down dog. And gaze towards the hands, big step with the right foot. A little pause, left foot top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lengthen. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, standing. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway, one movement, one breath. Bend into the knees, step back with the right foot. Left foot. Exhale, slow through your chaturanga. 
Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Gazing to the hands, left foot steps forward. Right foot, inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, standing. And exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Step back with the left foot. Right foot. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Just pausing in your down dog. On your next inhale, right leg lifts, three-legged dog. Take a moment to stack and open the hips. Dropping that right heel to the left glute. Drawing that right shoulder down. Gently press weight down through your left heel. I apologize if the lighting's changing slightly. The sun keeps coming in and out of the clouds. And then slowly, big step, plant that right foot between the hands. Slowly from here, gently start to straighten out your right leg. Just as much as you can, and you can take the hands onto blocks. The left hip stays pulling forward, the right hip stays drawing back. Either from here, keep that left hand where it is as you inhale, open up to your right leg. Or if you want to take a little further, cross that left hand to the outside of the right foot and inhale to twist open. Seeing if you can gaze up towards that top thumb. It's going to test that balance. One more deep breath. And slowly both hands come down, bending into the front knee. Back heel drops, push through the front foot, inhale, warrior two, right side. Sinking into that deep warrior two. Flip the front palm, inhale, reverse. Exhale all the way down, right hand inside of the right foot. Sweep that left arm open, stack the shoulders, gaze up towards that left thumb. Stay open through the arms, half bind or full bind. Spinning that left shoulder back, opening up the chest. Three deep breaths here. Right hand down, left arm lifts. Push through that right foot, inhale, warrior two. Straighten out the right leg. Left hip lifts up, right hip drops in. Reach to find a strong triangle pose. Stacking the shoulders, gazing up towards that left thumb. Holding here or finding your bind in triangle. So drop to extended side angle and start to straighten out that front leg, spinning open the chest. Journey releasing that bind. Coming up from your triangle, bending into that front knee warrior two. Cartwheel the hands around the right foot. Turn on to the left toes. Shift all of your weight into your right foot, standing splits. Last pose of the sequence. See if you can use your right arm round the back of the right leg to draw you in. Both hands down, step back with the left foot. Draw the right leg back to plank. 
Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Upward Facing Dog. And exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Just pause for three deep rounds of the breath here. On your next inhale, left leg lifts, three-legged dog. Exhale, stack and open the hips, and that left knee to the sky. Drop that left heel down towards that right glue. Keep gently pulling that left shoulder down. Big step between the hands, left foot forwards. From here, start to straighten out that left leg. Remember, you can use those blocks, but keep the hips square, left hip pulls back, right hip pulls forward. So either right hand stays where it is or cross it to the outside of the left foot. Start to stack the shoulders and open up towards that left side. If you find that balance, take your time, especially with that hand is crossed over. Then see if you can look up towards that left thumb. And slowly lower down, bending into that left knee. Let the right heel drop in, inhale, warrior two, left side. Long through the stance, reach energy through the tips of the fingers. Core switches on, inhale, reverse your warrior. Inhale up and exhale down through extended side angle. Finding either your half bind or your full bind drawing away from the thigh. Rotating open the chest, holding the pose but not holding the breath. So keep that breath flowing. Release that bind, left hand down. Right arm lifts. Push through that left foot, inhale all the way up, warrior two. Start to straighten out that left leg. Right hip lifts up as the left hip drops in. Reach to find that length. Strong core, finding your triangle. Holding here or dropping in for that bind, starting to gently straighten out that left leg without letting the chest collapse. If the neck starts to ache, you can gaze down. And gently release the bind. Push through that left foot, come all the way back, warrior two. Cut all the hands around the front foot. Turn onto the back toes and push up into standing spits on your left side. Maybe using that left hand around the back of that left leg to just draw you in a little closer. Slowly bending into that left knee, hands down, step back with the right toes. Step back with the left toes, exhale down through Chaturanga. Inhale, Upward Facing Dog. And exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Just pausing in your Down Dog, three rounds of the breath. And then gaze between the hands. Stepping into yogi squat in the middle of the mat, so right heel is at the edge of the mat, toes turned out, and same on that left side. Sit the hips down, press the palms together, elbows to the insides of the knee. 
hips drop as you lift the chest towards the thumbs. Big inhale, lengthen all the way up through the spine. Take some nice deep breaths here, just gently opening up into the hips. Slowly bringing yourself down to seated. If you can, doing it from your yogi squat as you bring the feet in front. Peace fingers around the big toes. Shift your weight onto your sitting bones. We're gonna bring our legs out in front. If this is too much holding the big toes, you're gonna to take the hands around the back of the knees. Okay, so keeping the knees bent for now. See if we can find this position. Remember, take those hands around the back of the knees if you need to. As you inhale, see if you can press that right foot out into the right hand. Straightening out the hamstring, flexing into the foot. And then slowly draw back in. You can do the same thing. So extending that left leg. Pressing the heel up. And then slowly draw it back in. One more each side, trying to avoid collapsing into the upper back. Shoulder blades draw down the back, chest lifts, inhale, right leg. Embrace all of the wobbles. Slowly draw down. Inhale, left leg. And slowly draw down. Inhale, both legs. See if you can straighten out the legs, find a point of balance on your sit bones. Shoulder blades stay down. Chest stays nice and open. Three deep breaths here. A little challenge if you want it. Three more breaths, but release the arms. Either side of the legs, point the toes. And slowly draw the feet together. Big inhale, sit up nice and tall. And exhale, gently fold into your butterfly. Let's take five rounds of the breath here. Releasing any tightness, any tension from the hips. Gently draw the knees together. Sweep the arms up and overhead. As you exhale, left arm outside of the right thigh. Just take a little twist, looking over that right shoulder. Inhale all the way up. And exhale, twist to that left side. Slowly from here, soles of the feet come together or you can keep the legs straight as we come all the way down onto our back. Let the knees gently open, let the hands rest onto the abdomen. Take a big inhale in and a big long exhale out. Let go of the day that has been. Let go of anything that did or didn't happen not just in the day, but also in this practice. Just feeling that deep gratitude for arriving on your mat this evening. Give yourself these few minutes out just to rest and relax. Nowhere else for you to be and nothing else for you to do.
And then slowly just gently draw the knees back together. Just give the knees a really gentle rock from side to side, releasing into the hips and the back. Hug the knees into the body. Draw the forehead to the knees. And maybe when you're ready, just bringing enough momentum to take you back up to seated. Find a comfortable cross-legged or just seated position. Take a big inhale, draw up all this wonderful energy you've created. Exhale it down into your heart center. Thank yourself for taking this time out, dedicating it to not just the physical body, but the mind. Take this calm, balanced energy with you. Bow the head to the heart. Namaste.